to my dear Mabel in Singapore from me, your Tita Kara in Amsterdam, Netherlands. This will always be my favorite thing to do. And I know, I know it's only been a week, but I miss you. So here I am, sending you a letter again. Have you read all of those? And that, and that. P.S. I hope you've kept the letters at least. That would be nice. Don't hate me for saying this, but sometimes I'm glad you left. Thank God your family too. No, that way I can get straight into telling you whatever I want. Wait, wait, no, 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 I, I didn't mean like that. I meant I, I, I'm just glad I have an excuse to write letters again, all right? Of course, of course. I still write mainly because I miss you. You are my favorite family member, you know. Um, am I your favorite? Never mind. Uh, I know, I know, I could definitely just send you a text or call you, it would be much more convenient for you than having to wait months for a bunch of letters, am I right? Okay, I know you find it weird, especially with all this technology nowadays and everything. I'm, I'm very grateful, I swear, it's just so bland. I used to receive these gorgeous, gorgeous handwritten letters, sealed and sent with stamps and everything. It was all so nice and thoughtful. Of course I'd send some too. I'd even put those, <laughs> those fancy wax seals on them. Some people thought it was too much effort, but I didn't mind. Letters will always be my favorite. Now, all I get are a few short words on a screen. Maybe with an emoji, a heart, or something, if I'm lucky, which I'm not. All that sincerity, gone. Would you even know what I'm talking about? <laughs> 